guys, welcome back to the channel here. Uh, <clears throat> sorry for the last video being kind of sporadic. I didn't really, that's the first time working on a uh, gas tank on the whole body filler and all that stuff. You saw how long, how many parts it took me just to make my gas tank so far. And I haven't gotten the bondo stage on that. But we're going to take a break from all the uh, light sheet metal work. And we're going to get on to the thicker steel portion. And what we're going to be working on this episode is going to be a new front mount for my uh, regular rectifier. And that's the uh, charging unit from the motor to the battery, which is going to be key for the whole wiring process. I already mocked up a battery, or not battery box, a wiring box off camera because I just want to, I'm, I'm trying to get a lot of these projects done and over with quickly so you guys can see the end result and I can enjoy the end result. And, but getting off topic. Uh, and these pieces of metal will be for my uh, license plate. This isn't mine, it's my grandfather's. But this is the uh, standard issue uh, size for a British Columbia license plate. So all I did was just grab some eighth inch. Yeah, I think these are eighth, eighth inch uh, flat stock. And I'm just gonna weld them right down the middle up there. And then I can use the uh, license plate itself to actually drill out the uh, holes for the bolts. And on top of that, I also go, gotta make a mount for it for my rear axle and mount my uh, tail light, brake light system. This is just one I got off eBay, the plastic brass, but it'll do. So stay tuned and we'll get on it. All right, y'all, so I just quickly slapped together a uh, base plate for the license plate. And I went ahead and took some measurements of how this is going to mount. And I'm thinking probably the best method is to groove out. So if I just find the center point, find the center points of all three uh, protrusions. For this is the center point, find the center here groove out this width of a channel about the same depth and the same thing going on with uh get the get you back in shot with these uh bolts i should be always be able to slide in and interchange any uh rear tail light i come across if i want if i'm able to find one that's solid brass plating or solid brass metal i'm gonna go hop on that in a heartbeat but for now i think uh this method is going to do fine and yeah, I'm thinking about a good 45 degree angle that will be playing up to illuminate the whole license plate itself. So I'm probably gonna spare you the uh, tedious calculations because I'm not a math teacher. I can't teach you that. I'm just gonna see you wrong, but I'm just gonna do what I've been doing for this whole project and just eyeball it. So I'll get back to you once I have the uh, groove set. All right, guys, so I was able to figure out the uh, spacing between everything. I think I was able, I managed to get a little too far left by like a 18th of an 16th of an inch, but that's okay. We can always just grind down the back side, make it look more uniform. But I don't think I'll have to make slot because I don't actually have a mill. So I took my time out and actually figure out where I actually gonna make the hole. So the two outside are gonna be a quarter. In the middle one is going to be a 7 8 So we're going to start by uh, drilling, drilling out pile holes for all three of them. And then we're going to up the sizes to the quarter and the 7 8 on the center here. So I'll get you on time lapse and let's, get, let's rip this thing out. All right, well, that looks pretty straight to me. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know some of y'all are probably saying, uh, hey, Hard Knocks, why aren't you go on the uh, TC Bros or Throttle Addiction and all that other shit? Well, unfortunately, my bank card doesn't go through with them. So, 
since I can't order chopper parts for the most part, I have to make it myself. And that's what we're going to do on this channel a lot is adapt and overcome. So the only step left is to grab our uh, plate. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to clean, probably drill out some of the uh, holes for the license plate. But the next step is to mount. Oh, I have this upside down. Luckily, it's interchangeable, but it's to mount this at about a 45 degree angle so that way the light will be illuminated and it'll be a nice kick ass uh, chopper light plate bracket. And then I'm gonna have to make a tab that mounts on to my axle. And then I have something in mind I wanna try. It's gotta find the extra material for it. But stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe, and find out what I'm going to do to actually mount this whole conglomerate onto the chopper. I'm like, all right, so we finished up fabricating the uh, the base for the license plate bracket. That was pretty good. Just a few little minor impressions I can fix up off camera later. But she holds, she fits, the holes line up. But now I have the next task of creating the bracket that holds onto the axle of the rear end of the chopper. So since everything I've been doing on this bike has just been all key, let's call it. I figured I'd head back to what I did with the brake pedal we saw a few episodes back. To make the bracket out of chain again. So it's gonna basically fold up together into a triangular shape. Hopefully. And it's gonna weld it along the side here. Like that, you see? So what I've got to do is uh, find my mark. I already marked it out. Where is that? There it is. So I've got to chop it down. And I gave myself a little extra leeway so I can kind of have some fanatical. But other than that, uh, all I have to do is cut it right down. Cut off these uh, pins and start figuring out how to jig it so I can take it. Alright y'all, so... I have him working away at my uh, chain bracket. You see right here, finally got the links all taped together. I actually surprisingly really enjoy TIG welding this kind of stuff. But you see here, it fits perfectly. Now I can flush against the bracket here. So all I have to do, triangulate the chain, put my spacer down, and I have an axle bracket so the idea is to try to make sure it's perfectly uh not squared off triangulated so right about here but i'll get back to you once i uh get all this sorted out Right there, Chief.
Looking good. Ooh. Should probably roll down my sleeve next time. Now she's uh, attacked in place. As you can see, it all supported its own weight. I'll just toss it back on the uh, bench up there. Now finish welding it. We'll show you the end result. All right, guys, time to show you guys the end result. Oh, off to you too. Here she is, nice and sturdy. I know it looks like I only put a few tacks, but on the back side, I actually ran a MIG weld all the way along the back side of the washer. Said it's slightly offset. It's not actually in the center of the chain, it's offset to this side. So it actually covers up some of the uh, nuts. But on that, it looks nice and pretty. So next step, it uh, remount a new voltage regulator. Now, for the old one, we had the tabs, you can see here and here, that will bolt right onto uh, the crankcase on the bottom. But unfortunately, we had to cut those away and grind them down to fit into the new frame alignment. Which means either I gotta make extensions, or weld a bracket right across, tap holes, and run bolts through them. Which might be the direction I'm going to go, going to go because that would actually reinforce this junction here, preventing any kind of unnecessary flexing. I don't think it will, but let's lean on the safe side, eh? So let's break out the voltage regulator and start making our game plan. Okay, so before we get on that, let's actually show off my new voltage regulator. So my last one was was it wrong with it but i just figured since i'm just going to bling out this frame and everything we might as well bling everything out now this is just a uh, standard uh voltage regulator very specialties i got this from uh fort nine like i get most of my most of my stuff not everything but most of my stuff i'll leave a link for this one in the description so if you want to upgrade yours to a shinier piece. So this also is going to help me figure out the game plan of how to actually mount this SOB onto the frame. But yeah, she's nice and pretty. Has all the necessary plugs. Ground. And so one's going to ground. One's going to go to your stator. This is going to be your stator. This one is going to go to your battery. And this is the wire that actually charges your battery through here. Again, I know electrician, but I know how basic how some of these things basically work and I can work from there. But let's take out some metal, take out the tape measure, and let's get ready to mount this SOB. Alright guys, so I got this all cut out. I made a bit of a uh, taper upward so that way it follows the uh, brace on the bottom of my uh, down tube. And wide enough so my regular rectifier covers most of it so it's not going to look too far out of place. Now I'm just going to use an old piece of filler rod I made a, a, a scribe out of. Just, I'm just going to eyeball center generally. And I'm going to use the, the uh, sharpened point to make a scribe into the tape itself. That way I can have a rough idea where I'm going to make my holes. So I can find center of these. Hopefully it picks up on camera here. I'm not sure if it picks up. Oh yeah, a little bit. Right here, you're going to see tearing. So all I have to do is get my center punch, punch, punch. I think there's about, what, half inch, quarter inch, half inch. Yeah, of course the dog's gonna go crazy. Uh, may have to get the dog inside. Yep, half inch holes. And I'm just gonna have to probably run back out and get some bolts out actually going. Some machine screws around the head to sink down in here. 
but all you have to do now is set a punch, drill, and do a quick mock up. All right, so here we go. So if we get a good idea of what the mock up's going to look like. We're still going to have a little bit of a gap here. That's going to be okay, but it's going to have to run just a few attack there in each corner. Take out the regulator, just run the wheels up here, and we're already done the mount for the voltage regulator. It's gonna stick out just a little bit more, but that'll be okay. And you know what? Since we probably gonna have time, once we get this all tacked into place, let's figure out how we're gonna mount our coil. Okay, so. Uh, I just did something quickly off camera just for the uh, choke knob for the uh, Makuni carburetor. I just slapped something on there just so I know how much room I have left for my ignition coil. And I did the same thing that I did with the uh, regulator uh, rectifier, which was strap a tape, pull it on top, scribe, center punches. Now I think these are quarter inch holes. So we've got to drill out a couple of these and then uh figure out how far out i want it so we get the holes built measure it out put in our scribe cut it off and we can be quickly done this in a jiffy look at that something's actually going easy on this build So you see here we've got tacks on each corner. Jesus Christ, that's so hot. Yeah, that wasn't too smart. But this is, you see the whole conglomerate where the uh, choke is gonna rest up in here and the ignition will be just sitting just below it. <sighs> Look at this. Although I'm not gonna put it on because it's still hot as shit. So let's just go over what we got. We got ourselves an ignition coil mount, choke uh, brace, ignition coil. What else did we do today? What else? Oh yeah, I like to say bracket. So I think uh, I'm still waiting on uh, a few parts to come in, and I may may if I have to take any modifications uh, to the uh, wiring box, I'll do that off camera just to make sure it's current for the chain. And then after that, we can start uh, routing all the wiring for the uh, front brakes, rear brakes, tail light, uh, the ignition system, and the starter. All that fun stuff. Which is all going to get to be stored down in this box here. So I want to thank everyone who's uh, been watching. I know, like I said, my video has been uh, pretty sporadic for the past couple uh, weeks. But like I said, I've just been really busy with other projects and also with work in general. So I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting me so far with subscribing, liking the videos, and also helps a lot with sharing. And if you want to go the extra mile, my Teespring is down in the description, and you, and all funds for that go right to the uh, channel for you guys. Everything for camera equipment, lighting equipment, tools, parts, materials, just so we can start banging out these projects a lot faster. But I'm just going to leave you at that, and hope to see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.